This is uh, case four and the most realistic of all cases. Why? Because both the demand and the lead time are uncertain. Since both are uncertain, uh, both can be characterized by using some kind of a probabil probabilistic measures such as uh, average and the standard deviation. Uh, for instance, uh, the demand can be characterized by using average and standard deviation measures such as average demand, which is D bar, and standard deviation of the demand, which is denoted by sigma D. Similarly, lead time can be characterized by using average lead time, which is denoted by L bar, and the standard deviation of the lead time, which is denoted by sigma LT. So in this case, in this realistic case, let us see how many units a uh, buyer should purchase and when a uh, buyer should purchase. So first, we have to figure out how the reorder point changes in this case. So the reorder point is equal to uh, some nominal value plus a safety stock. The nominal value can be represented by a product of average demand and average lead time, which is D bar times L bar plus safety stock. So safety stock can be calculated uh, by this product of Z times sigma DLT. Sigma DLT is the standard deviation, standard deviation of the demand during the lead time, and the Z can be calculated uh, based on the customer service level. So let's figure out what does this sigma DLT. Sigma DLT is given by this expression. Right? If you take if you take a closer look at this expression, the first term in this expression is exactly the same as the variance of the demand. Sorry. The first term in this expression is exactly the same as the variance of the demand uh, during the lead time from case three. Since in this case, the lead time is also varying, the buyer has to stock more so therefore the stock safety stock increases so that increase in the safety stock is represented by this second term okay let us take a look at a numerical example right maybe this is the best time for you guys to pause the video and uh, read the problem and digest it so in this problem this 12000 pence or is your average demand d bar standard deviation of the demand is 3000 pence and your average lead time l bar is 5 and this sigma d sigma lt standard deviation of lead time is 2 weeks so by using these four parameters, 12,000, 3,000, 5, 2, you can actually calculate what is the standard deviation of the demand during the lead time by using this expression. So the standard deviation in this case is approximately 25,000 uh, pence. Now we have to figure out what is the Z value in order to calculate the safety stock. So as I mentioned, Z can be calculated uh, based on customer service level. So we have to use a function, an Excel function called norm.s.inv. So this is your Excel function. So this function returns the inverse of the standard normal cumulative distribution which needs a customer service level as an input in our case uh, customer service level is 95 percent so if you key this 0.95 into this function uh, you'll get z value as 1.65 
So using 1.65 and sigma DLT, you can calculate the safety star, which is equal to 40, 41,000 pens. Now you have to add this safety star to the nominal value to get the reorder point. The nominal value, as we know, can be cal calculated by using average demand and average lead time. So if you, the product of average demand and lead time is 60,000, so that is your nominal value, add that to the safety star, you will get the reorder point, which is approximately 101,000 pence. So, so when the on-hand inventory drops to uh, 101,000, the buyer will place an order, which is equal to an economic ordering quantity. So that is the idea of this uh, reorder point. Now let us look at the summary of all the cases. On one end, you have an ideal situation with a zero lead time and a constant demand. On the other, on the other end, you have a very realistic situation with a variable demand and variable lead time. So as you can see, the ordering quantity remains the same from case to case. However, when to order, that is the reorder point, changes from case to case. So in the ideal situation, the reorder point is zero. In the real, uh, <clears throat> but in the realistic situation, the reorder point is at its highest. This is it. So in other words, when we move towards, right, in this direction, towards to a more realistic situation, the reorder point increases. And as a result, we have to carry more to address the uncertainty in the demand and lead time. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.